okay in this uh, video we will talk about interest option b so interest option b is uh, one of the interest option inter interest mpls vpn options which provides the mpls vpn service between two autonomous systems so <coughs> here in in interest option b there is no end to end lsp between r1 to r4 okay as it was it is the case in option c and uh, we also don't want to configure vrfs on the as bo um, border routers like r2 and r3 uh, so that uh, the, that scalability ch problem of different number of so many number of vrf sessions are not required so here uh, what it will happen that r4 will have a um, r4 will have a mpls uh, vpn session with r3 to exchange this vpn v4 route r3 will have a ebgp vpn v4 session with r2 uh, and then r2 will again have the uh, ip uh, vpn v4 uh, ipbg ibgp session so uh, when r4 will send the bgp update or vpn v4 update it will send a label r3 will receive it but R3 cannot uh, directly receive it because there is no VRF we are going to configure. So VRFs will be uh, on R4 and R1. So as we said, we don't want to configure the VRFs at all on R2 and R3. But if a P receive a BGP update without any, um, without with a um, extended community like RT and that uh, RT or VRF configuration is not there which says that import this RT it cannot accept the route so it has to uh, reject that route but there is a configuration of that we need to enable on R3 so that it actually accepts the route without having a VRF so this is the uh, catch point over here and then when R3 will send that uh, BGP update or uh, towards its eBGP neighbor R2 it will change the BGP uh, MPLS level because it is changing the next stop this is how it should work okay so now uh, now let's see what I have. So I have configured this OSPA between uh, R1 and R2 and R3 and R4. I have this MPLS LDP LSPs between these two nodes like R1 and uh, R2 and I am using explicit null so that I have a top level for uh, illustration purpose. Uh, you can use implicit null there is no issues with that. Uh, and then R3 and R4 is also having this MPLS LDP session between them. So let's jump into the uh, routers and see what I have. Okay. So now I am on R3, R1, sorry. So show IP OSPF neighbor. I can see I have only one neighbor which is router 2. Show MPLS forwarding table. So I can see that uh, router 2 has sent me an LDP update that if you want to reach me, send me uh, your packet with explicit null level. And a router 1 has allocated a local level as 101. And this is my egress interface, which is my 10.1.2, uh, 10.12. Uh, so router 1, router 2, and my next stop is on router 2. 2 denotes that router 2. Okay. Similarly, on R2, what I have. Uh, uh, let's see show MPLS LDP neighbor let's see so I have only one LDP neighbor which is towards R1 so I don't have any LDP neighbor towards R3 uh, which is my eBGP neighbor right so let me show you the BGP configuration over here show run So there are a few important things. Like I said that uh, I don't want to configure the VRFs over here on AS border routers. So that's why I have configured this no default uh, route target filter. So don't filter anything, accept. Okay. And then for that VPN V4 family, I have one neighbor as R1 and my other neighbor is uh, R3's interface IP because I have configured that as a eBGP neighbor, right? And uh, here you can see that I have this neighbor and my remote AS is 200. And when I'm sending the update from eBGP to iBGP, I'm changing my next hop towards uh, while sending it to R1, uh, R1, yes. Now let's see, uh, let's go back to the topology. Okay, I will delete this uh, annotations. So I have, I'm working for this prefix. Let's track how this prefix reaches. So this prefix is configured on R4 and R4 will send this BGP VPN V4 update to R3. Okay, so let's track how, how it has sent. Uh, so let's go to R4. Okay, and uh, let's fire this command. So here it is saying that my, it is a local uh, route 
and uh, my next stop is 0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0 which is me my rt is 1 colon 1 my rd is 4.4.4.4 colon 100 and this is my uh, prefix so this is nothing but the total vpn v4 prefix and for this i have allocated a label as 401 okay so let's draw it on the map so this is nothing but 401 that R4 has uh, sent this label to R3. Now let's see what R3 has done with this root. Okay, so I will copy the same command. So what R3 has done, it has received the out label as, it has installed the out label as um, uh, 401 and in level as 303 okay my rt is same as it as it was my vpn v4 prefix is same uh, my next stop is 4.4.4.4 this is important because and uh, when r3 will send this packet send a packet uh, it will send the uh, it will label swap towards 4.4.4.4 actually okay because this is how the um, thing will happen okay now let's go to R2 and uh, fire the same command and uh, okay let's map it to the topology so here what has been done like 303 fine and uh, let's go to R1 so here what is uh, there like i have out level of 205 which has been okay so i directly went to r1 but i should first go to r2 okay so what r2 has done r2 has allocated a label uh, of 205 and had, it has received the label from r3 as 303 okay let's map it so it will be 205 so R1 what it will do it will simply install this 205 based on the RT that has came with this root right so let's take a look on R1 yeah so here it is like it has only uh, the out level as 202 and its next hop is router 2 okay and this is my VPN v4 uh, prefix my next hop is 2.2.2 uh, .2 and I have a MPLS level for 2.2.2 .2 .2. Okay, so this is how the whole route is set up and uh, between autonomous system this top, uh, this design to work you have to have the uh, RD to be matched on both the autonomous systems. Okay, you cannot uh, have one RD over here and the other RD over here. It has to match. Now let me ping from uh, PC1 to uh, PC2. Okay, so I am pinging from PC1. I'm pinging to PC2, which is my uh, 182, that that uh, IP. Let's start. Um, before that, uh, let me show you how the packet will go. So if I if I I have mapped this VPN labels, right? And on top of it, if I map this um, LDP label, so it will be like on top. It, there will be a zero there will be zero is for that explicit null and here it won't be anything because there is no LDP I have enabled and here it will be again zero okay so this should be my MPLS stack that I should look so when I ping let me check what is my MPLS stack okay so let's start this Wireshark capture and uh, filter it with ICMP okay this is one capture and uh, let me ping here also start washak okay so i already had some captures but uh, let me do once again okay so now let's see what happened uh, let's take the last capture so this is uh, the top level is 0 the bottom level is 205 this is from the source 192.11 to 192.44 and I am sending this ICMP packet so as I expected that the top level will be 0 and the bottom level will be 205 okay now when it hit this packet will hit router 2 the 0 will be removed and 205 will be swapped with the level 303 I think okay let's go here and see yeah, you don't see the top level, so the bottom level is swapped, the VPN level is swapped like 303 and this is how the packet will reach to the other end, okay. 
okay so this is a small uh, thing that i wanted to share thanks for listening bye